This is Ogoni land in southeastern Nigeria, an area which, over the years, has been devastated by toxic oil spills. Fishermen and farmers complain that the spills have ruined their health, the local environment, as well as their livelihoods. They say international oil companies are to blame. The European Parliament wants new rules to make sure that tragedies like this don't happen in the future. That means that workers will be better protected, uh, and if not, that victims will have better access to remedy uh, and better access to justice. And companies can be held liable if they don't respect human rights. The new rules would not only apply to companies based in the EU, but any company seeking to trade in the EU's internal market. They would all have to prove their supply chains were from start to finish, free from human rights violations and didn't harm the environment. Today, only one in three EU companies is taking due diligence measures. So that's not enough. The consequence is that we have headlines like Rana Plaza or pollution in Nigeria, and that means that we now need to go a step further. Victims could seek redress in EU courts, and companies would face fines if they harmed people, the planet or good governance. Parliament wants the rules to go even further. Traditionally, trade agreements have protected investors more than the workers in the supply chain. It's important that we introduce these new rules before we enter into new trade agreements. The legislation should also allow the EU to ban any imports linked to human rights violations, like forced or child labour.